Hey guys, so today I'm back with a new video, well it's going to be part of a new series that I'm making called Trey Lands, start from start to finish and it's, I'm going to be teaching you how to go from the starter sparrow, well it's actually the starter swallow now from this boat here you can't see it because it's dark and I'm not waiting for a daytime because I'm lazy because daytime, the day night cycle in this game is way too long. Now, after that, we're gonna go from that. And then, by the end of the series, I'm probably gonna be building maybe a Neptune. I think a Neptune is my end game. And if you don't already know, this is what the Neptune looks like. Please ignore my horrible setup here. That's my Neptune. She's beautiful, and I love her. Um, so, first thing, first rule of Trey Lands: don't ever play with a big character like this. So, what you want to do, you know, come over here. Oh, nope. And you want to come over here, and you want to bring your character right down. So, this is in Avatar Editor. Go to Body and then scale and you turn all of this down and then come over here you reset hurry up and reset come on I hate the reset countdown and now what should happen See, my avatar's gotten really small now, because by default, Treylands makes your avatar blocky, which I don't like at all. <coughs> and now, when I go into battle, my hitbox is a lot smaller, which means people have to get a lot closer to hit me and hurt my health. Which makes it a lot easier for you to avoid their stabs. So, for this video, this is video number one, the beginning. And the first thing you want to do is you'll get a starter pickaxe and I just want you to pretty much wear this down. I want you to get everything you can out of it and wear it down to the bare bones. Also, if you're new to Treylands, just press G, and you'll see your inventory, and C is to change your title and see what level you are. Right now I'm level 1 because I did a little bit of trading on this account just before I recorded this video. Also, don't waste your time crafting round shot. Generally, what I've always done is just, um, after every 24 hours you play this game, you'll get a thing called a loyalty token. And what you want to do with that loyalty token is you want to come over here, you know, press E on this guy, and you want to buy 20 round shot. Now, I don't have any loyalty tokens right now, but I've already bought mine. And once you've bought that, that gives you 20 round shot. This is it right here. And instead, it saves you, as a starter, it saves you grinding a lot of iron for round shot. See, now I've got 28 iron and about 5k doubloons. That's because, like I said, I did a little bit of grinding before this. So, once you're done tree chopping, and this is actually a crafted axe, you'll get a basic axe to start off with. Once you've broken both of these, oh, I like cherry. Mahogany is good because you can sell it as premium cargo. So for the beginning of the for this starting video, my goal is to go from the start of Swallow to a Harone, which can carry ten cargo. And it's 5k doubloons, which is about, it's only really a trade run from here, 
Where's the wind going? To Harrisburg. So what, when the wind's going towards Harrisburg, the best place to go is from Whitecrest to Harrisburg, over to Cannoneer's Key, and then reset. I always do this, and it makes me about 5k doubloons on just... No, not 5k. Like 3,500 doubloons in a starter swallow, which only carries 6 cargo. So now, when I come over here, I'll show you the Haroon. It's a level unlocks at level 1 ship. Oh my god, I can't see that. There we go. And it costs 80 oak. I just set it on Elm so I can see it. I've got all the iron that I need. Um, Do I have all the oak yet? No, I do not. And I don't quite have 5,000 doubloons yet. So what I want to do is, I, see, 5,000 hull strength is, strength is not that bad for a level 1 ship. And now, at level 1, a beginner to the game, don't worry about these heavy cannons. Because chances are, if you get attacked in a Haroon, you're screwed anyway, so don't bother defending yourself. So don't worry about those. Speed 7's pretty good. Speed 7 is used to be the meta for all ships in the game. Max cargo 10. It got buffed recently from 8 cargo to 10. All ships got a buff of 1 to 2 cargo. So that's the ship I'm saving up for. Of course, it's going to be made out of oak because I'm a broke noob. Okay. So I noticed... I'll show you how premium cargo works right now. And I want to go over here, grab my mahogany, and probably... Hold on, no. Right now, I believe that the cargo is free, but after this event update goes away, I think it won't be free anymore. Of course, don't quote me on that, because, you know, yeah. So, what you want to do, you want to take your ship, easy to spawn, just over here, the Dockmaster. We want to bring it right next to this man. I want to come talk to him. And now you want to buy one, two, three. One, two, three. And now what I want you to do is I want you to go take one of these. This is one of the most pro tips in Trade Lands. Take one of these, buy another cargo, any cargo. And now I can carry seven cargo. And now where I'm going to go is I'm going to go... Son of a... I hate... Bruh. Thank you. I'm not going to go that way. I know it's dark and I'm sorry for the, uh, the darkness, but... Trey lands just won't cooperate. Uh... So I'm going to go from here, Whitecrest is where I start, it's the first faction you can join on when you join the game. I'm going to go to Harrisburg, and then I'm going to sail all the way over at Cannoneer's Key. But I'm actually only going to go to Harrisburg because that's all I need. That's all I really need right now for my Haroon. Otherwise, if I was doing a full trade run, I would go from there, to there, to there, and then I would reset there and start again. And now I'm probably going to fast forward through this bit in the editing, but, uh, yeah.
Also, did I mention trading in this game takes forever? Literally forever. I've only made it that far to Harrisburg so far. This is just pain. Whatever you do when you're grinding in this game, always sell mats. If you're trying to grind for expensive ships. I'm only doing this because it's a beginner's series. On my... Also, you can trust me because on my main account I'm level like 26. And I own a Neptune, which is why I decided to make this video. It's just because I wanted to show how other people can get to where I am, and how easy it actually is if you follow the right steps. I've played Treylands for quite a long time now, and I trust me, I would know that cargo trading is just not the most efficient anymore. And, yeah. That's because... Well, that's actually because selling mats can make you a lot more money. Let's say you sold 100 iron, you grind 100 iron, and you sell that for 65 per piece. That's like 9,500 or so doubloons. Instead of making 2,000 something doubloons from doing this run, which takes forever. It's a trade-off, really. Get it? Trade-off. Excuse the pun. Thank you. going to check my map. Okay, so I just passed Blackwind Cove. <coughs> now, the thing with this trade run is it, right, it brings you right past the Pirate's Cove, which is rather dangerous, which is probably why this cargo is worth a lot at this point. But if you're going to be trading in a bigger target, I'm going to call it a target, a bigger ship, then I suggest you bring somewhat of a skilled crew. At least, be able, at least have a crew of maybe two or three people, at least level, gunnery level five and at least Swordsmanship level 5. Then you might stand a chance against some experienced players. Uh, I can hear my computer fan speeding up in the background. Doesn't sound good. Hopefully I'll edit most of this out, and if I don't, then call me lazy in the comment section. Yes. Yes. Come on! Okay, so I'm just pulling in now. What you want to do is come over here, and at Harrisburg you want to turn from this angle a bit, and see that man over there? You'll see the text above their heads. It's just a billboard GUI in studio. Trust me, I know. Watch out for some of my developing videos. Yeah. 
Oh crap, I thought I saw a pirate ship behind me for a second. That actually somewhat scared me. Okay, so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna sell my furniture. See? 273 doubloons, that's nice. And I'm gonna go like that. And then now I've got all of that ready. I'm just gonna sell max and sell max. Hold up. Oh, they might have nerfed cargo prices again. Oh well. But anyways, if I was going to keep tr cargo trading, which I'm not going to right now, I would go from, like I said before, I'd go Whitecrest, Harrisburg, Cannoneers Key. If you want to write that down, I suggest you do so now, or screenshot that. Uh, yeah. So now I'm just going to come over here, despawn. And I'm actually going to grind a little bit more oak. Uh, if you're grinding, if you're a level 1 person grinding, um, generally I would recommend following my steps the way I am, in the order that I am. But you would already have the oak by now, because you would have grinded your pickaxes and axes down. Also, while you can, try to level up your mining and timber felling and crafting. Crafting can be leveled up by crafting anything in the crafting menu that can be found on any spawn island. Sorry if I talk a wee bit fast. In fact, I know I talk too fast. Oak times one. Do you have any idea how painful this is? Mahogany. Um, generally, I would just use my mahogany for premium cargo. That's all I really ever use my mahogany for. Because it's all it's really worth. Don't bother selling mahogany unless you have more than a hundred. Trying to grind for wood be like... Again, if I don't speed this up in um, editing, then just call me lazy in the comments. Otherwise, just skip through this bit of the video. But this is what it's really like to grind on tree lands. Boring as... I think I need about 24 oak to be able to craft the heron. Craft. Build. I'm 
I'm gonna chop down one more tree. It's always good as a beginner to grind lots of materials because you can sell them later. But quite a big amount of stonks. Okay, so now I'm just going to reset. Oof. I haven't I copyrighted for using that sound? Okay, so now I'm back at Whitecrest. Um, it's always good to just chop down or mine any rocks you see, because you never know what you'll get. Life is like a box of chocolate. I'm not going to say that. Just a little bit more grinding. It's honestly not that hard to get 80 oak, 25 iron, and 5k doubloons in this game. Oh, I should also explain the weight system. So, if you have too much uh, items in your inventory, you will get overweight. And when you get overweight, that little number... When you press G, this little number down here will go red, and that's how you know that you're overweight, and then your character. The more overweight you get, the slower your character will become. Never go out into a battle or trading when you have a slow character or overburden. Just don't do it. It's just a really bad idea. Okay, so now I'm going to put everything in the warehouse. So this is everything that we've gained this far, this so far in the series. I'll write everything down, everything that I've gotten so far in the series, in the comments, in the pinned comments, or in the description. So this, so, so far this series, I've gotten a total of 6,597. This is video one of the series. Uh, 28 iron. 88 oak. Okay, so now time to craft. Uh, first, I'm not the right crafting level, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, launch this boat, and how you edit your video, how you edit not your videos, how you edit your ships, is you take away your long guns. Or you just take, or you just press six, and it will, all these options will appear. And once that happens, you just press six again to make it go away. And now I'm just going to put these cannons on my Harone because I'm lazy and I just, I'm not going to be level up my leveling up my crafting right now to be able to build two heavy iron long guns. And see again, I'm overburdened, and the more you get overburdened, the slower you walk. Okay, so I'm going to build the Haroon. Uh, just so you can see what it looks like. Of course, it's not going to be out of elm, so it's going to have to be oak for now. Haroon. Uh... What should I call it? I think I'll name it... Hmm... The Wasp, yes. Accept. Thank you. Yay. And I just wasted all of my doubloons for this series. Let's go spawn it. Okay, so I've spawned it, now I'm just going to press 6, and how you equip um, cannons is you just click on something, and you go down here, and you just click onto whatever hips free, or whichever, 
and then you just click on add when you're holding the cannon um, and then just click add again and you press 6 and it goes away just like that and now I've got all and now next video we're going to be grinding up to maybe a pheasant I'm not sure what ship I'll be grinding up to next video but this is where I wanted to end where this is where I wanted to get to this is this is how far I wanted to get in the series so far so that'll be it that'll be about it for this video um, if you enjoyed please leave comment and subscribe and all that good stuff um, just hit 10 subscribers I uh, don't know how that happened I've literally only uploaded like eight times um, but yeah that's about it for episode one of the Tradelands New Beginning series.